Well, to discuss all this, I'm now joined by Ahmed al Buraya, a lecturer here at Istanbul's Aydın University. Ahmed, great to have you here on set. Thank now, you. we just heard uh, Rex Tillerson. His Turkish counterpart, Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu, is in Washington, D.C. for the inauguration. He had a meeting with Michael Flynn, which is uh, President Trump's um, designated national security advisor. They had a discussion about several important things. And uh, we mentioned some of the important hurdles that they had to overcome, these two countries had to overcome. Uh, on day one, what do you think will be at the top of the agenda as the two countries turn a new page? The first thing we know that Trump believes that the Obama policy in the Middle East was a big failure. And that's why we were going to witness a kind of a dramatic change in the whole policy. But is, is, is it going to be as dramatic, as fast as we expect? I don't believe so. We have different files that Trump will, differ, will deal with them differently. The first thing is the relationship with Turkey. They believe that uh, the Obama administration has a big failure again with the relation in Turkey. They already inflicted a huge damage to this relation. So he's going to try to uh, bridge these gaps and try to uh, uh, return back to the good relation with its alliance in the region. That's the number one. The number two is the their fight against ISIS or Daesh in the region. He believed that his priority in the region is to fight ISIS and Turkey is, do, is showing a great um, mission in this uh, field. It's already in Syria fighting them and pushing them back. They already defeated them in certain places. So I believe he's going to uh, put more support to Turkey in this regard as well. So these two main issues. Now the big problem is the uh, Fatullah Gulen extradition. Is it going to be realistic? Uh, still, we have uh, serious questions, but I believe that Turkey uh, is very insisting on this, and it's a headache to the United States, to the coming uh, administration. If they really have, want to have real uh, relations, good relations with Turkey, they should find a way to solve this uh, problem. We're going to get to the extradition of Fitzgerald Gudan in a moment, but let's talk details about the Middle East. When you look at the situation in northern Syria, Barack Obama and President Erdogan have had a difference of opinions in um, assessing this terrorism or counter-terrorism threat. And I'm specifically talking about uh, the YPG. Obviously, we know the Pentagon refers, uh, has, uh, classifies this group as an effective force in fighting uh, Daesh. Uh, we also heard Donald Trump in his inauguration speech that he said that they would um, uh, use America first. That's the new vision. If America first, and if their priority is to uh, defeat Islamic terrorism, he also used that phrase in the inauguration speech, could they be using the uh, continue using the YPG? No, I don't believe so. That, that's the point I'm focusing on. Now, the first thing, we know that he's going to have a different strategy. The strategy is this. We're going to empower our alliances in the region. We're not going to empower militias. They don't believe that the uh, YPG, the Kurdish militias in Syria, are going to be the most effective power to fight ISIS. The most effective power is going to be Turkey. That's why we're going to put more support to our relations with Turkey. That's the number one. The second issue is um, Erdogan. A, Obama himself was not serious about his relation with Turkey. If he was serious, Turkey already is fighting ISIS. So why do you need the militias in the, in the Syrian uh, soil? You already have your alliance on the ground, its troops in Syria, and they already prove that they have the power to deter and push back ISIS. So why do you need them? That's the point they should take into consideration. Turkey is very allergic uh, when it comes to the, the, uh, the, the Kurdish uh, uh, aspirations and ambitions to have their autonomous entity in the region. And they're not taking Turkey seriously. That was a big problem for the Obama, between Obama and Erdogan from the one hand. From the other hand, uh, Turkey is already doing its best in the region. In, the, in Syria in order to try to find a political solution. So why not to empower it? Mm -hmm. And I believe that uh, Trump is going to work more, ha more uh, on this file uh, than the Obama administration. All right, let me ask you this. When you look at the recent relationship between Turkey and Russia, uh, sort of rapprochement, um, you would say, especially in considering the fact that they've brokered a successful evacuation of eastern Aleppo, they're brokered this uh, current ceasefire deal, which is largely standing, and you have political talks that are scheduled to take place next week in, in Astana. Um, what is the U.S., or what is the new Trump administration going to do uh, to sort of come back, or to, to reply to comments that Turkey is 
tilting away from NATO, from the West, and, and maybe building stronger ties with Russia. No, th that's not the, the point of view of Trump. Trump believes that first, America is first, yes, and we're going to make America great again. So he's going to, fight, to focus more on the economy in the United States. He's going to focus on the competition, the economic competition with China. But in the Middle East, he believes, why not? Let Trump have a chance. Let uh, Putin have a chance in Syria. Let Erdogan have a chance in Syria. And let's see if they can defeat ISIS. That's good. If they if they come up, they will lose. And he believed that this is a quagmire. Everybody who entered the Middle East will have problems and they will have like serious consequences on their economy. So let them have a chance. And we will be helping them from the Air Force. So from the air, they're going to support more with the drones, with the unmanned uh, uh, air forces. And they're going to support them on the ground. But still, why not to give them a chance? They have good relations. I mean, the United States, the Trump administration will have good relations with Russia from the one hand, with Erdogan from the other hand. So the, the, the top priority is to defeat ISIS. And these two countries can do that. So why not to focus on having more economic uh, gains from the Iran deal? So let's focus on Iran. Let's have from more concessions from Iran when it comes to the nuclear deal. And let's give a chance to Putin and Erdogan to work harder in the uh, Syria, and they, they could come out with a real uh, political solution. Okay. Another one of the top priorities will be uh, coming back to the extradition of uh, the former imam and, and, and what Turkey blames is was masterminded the, the, the failed coup attempt of July 15th, Fethullah Gülen. Uh, now Obama's stance was always, all right, we're, gonna give, we're not going to give him back unless we have credible evidence of his culpability and that he's going to get a fair trial in Turkey. That being said, how quickly can we move on, 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 on Turkey's requests? That depends on Trump. Well, this is a very like problematic issue for uh, Turkey. It is a very uh, decisive move from the United from the United States. If the Trump administration will show a kind of goodwill gesture toward Turkey and they are serious about uh, uh, reinvigorating the uh, the diplomat or the the relations generally, in that case they should show a good sign uh, to accelerate the process or to find ways to do it as soon as possible. But is this possible in the United States? That's the big question mark. That's the, the, the elephant in the room. I don't believe that it's going to be easy because this, from the one hand, Turkey did not support with the real genuine a evidence according to the United to the at least the Obama administration from the other hand if this happens it will be a kind of a precedent that other countries would ask for uh, other people to be extradited and according to the uh, regulations and laws in the United States this is not possible so it's not an easy move all right Ahmed Alburai thank you very much for joining us here on thank set you. in Istanbul thank you, thank you.